I'm going to make a short tutorial here about Storify. Storify is a really good way to aggregate um, posts or videos or URLs and other things from all around the web, from social media, but also from web pages, and put them together in a kind of story or even an annotated resource list. So to do this, you press this button, New Story, and you get to the page where you're going to do all your work. On the right side, you see your sources, and on the left side, you see your story. Your story is blank right now here on the left, but I will go in and you type in the first box and type your headline. So I will type some nonsensical things because this is a practice. And then you should always type some kind of description. Um, this is part of a tutorial. Um, of your story, you know, what is its purpose, what is it about, and this should be pretty short. And if you want to write some kind of introduction, you can just click below and you'll see how things in Storify are sort of modular. Um, so you can move them around once you've got more than one in there. So I will just write, uh, let's see, this is my first paragraph in the... Uh, notice that it has saved all by itself. It uh, automatically saves as you go along. So on the right are our resources. And you might want to get things from Twitter. You might think, want to get things from Facebook, from YouTube, from Flickr, which of course has a lot of photos, uh, Instagram. Um, you want to import some GIFs. Um, you want to use Google or, uh, um, let's see, SoundCloud for audio. Tumblr, you can import Tumblr posts. And then there's a list of some other things over on the far right. So I'm going to start with Twitter. I'm only going to cover Twitter, YouTube, and URLs because I'm going to try to make this pretty quick and easy. So I'd like to show you how to use Twitter because uh, aggregating a bunch of Twitter posts that are all about one topic is something we do a lot. So enter keyword or hashtag. And I'm going to show you, I actually have a hashtag over on my Twitter. Twitter from a chat that I was in yesterday. And so the chat had a hashtag. And I'm just going to copy the hashtag to make sure I have it exactly right, much easier than typing. And then back in Storify, with the Twitter bird selected, I'm going to paste that. And then I'm going to hit the magnifying glass over on the right side. And what it should come up with is a lot of tweets that include that hashtag. And you can see that these tweets, some of these have pictures. Um, some of them have pictures of food, yum, yum. So if I wanted to add this to my story, I would just grab it and drag it over. And I could put it above my paragraph or below my paragraph, wherever I want. And I can move it later. And the big picture will come in with the tweet below it. All right, so that's how you put in a tweet. And look, it's already saved itself automatically. So usually we go in and find tweets by hashtag. But we might go in and look by location or by type or by language or all other kinds of things with the Twitter bird selected. We can search for user. We can search for somebody's favorites. So if you favorited things. And we could make a whole story all made up of tweets. Um, if I want to remove that one that I put in because it's so big and maybe it's making me feel hungry, I can just hit the X and it'll go away. Uh, so YouTube videos. YouTube videos are under the YouTube icon. So you go in there and you might think, wow, if I go in and uh, search by title, I will get my YouTube video. So I'm going to open up a video of mine, not maybe something you're interested in, but I know it has a very specific title. And so I'm going to copy that title. I'm going to go back into Storify. I'm going to paste that title. And notice that here it says order by relevance. And I've got the title, and I think that's pretty relevant. But when I search using order by relevance, my this exact video with that exact title doesn't come up at all. So luckily, we can search by title. And even then, this video doesn't come up. 
So the YouTube search is a little bit weird. It's sort of more about finding things than it is about pinpointing the exact thing you want. So does this mean that Storify is broken for YouTube? No, there's another way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the URL. And notice this is not a URL that can includes any information about a playlist or a channel. It's just a plain, straight YouTube URL with watch and then the code for the, the, um, the YouTube video. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Storify. And I'm going to go to these three dots all the way on the right side. And I'm going to say Embed URL. And when I've got that and I paste in the exact YouTube URL and remember to hit the magnifying glass, then I will get the exact one I'm looking for. And one of the nicest things about embedding YouTube videos in a Storify is then they will play right here. So if you wanted to gather together a few videos but write a paragraph above or below about why that video was important to you, Storify is the perfect way to share a set of videos in that way. Um, and again, it's saved automatically. And this is hidden from view. It's only a draft. Um, if I went and it says draft over at the uh, left-hand side as well. So you know that nobody can see it yet until you hit publish. Now, the final thing I want to show you about is also using the embed URL capability of Storify. And that is for a story like this one, a news story or a blog post or anything like that, go into your browser address bar and just copy the complete URL, come back into Storify, and with that embed URL icon selected, go in here, I'm going to erase everything else, paste that URL and hit the magnifying glass. And that is a great way to share a story. And here, I'll put in another, uh, let's see. Let me put in a new paragraph. Here is a wedding story. And then I will grab that and put it up at the top. And now I'm going to put the New York Times story link in between this paragraph, here is a wedding, and this paragraph, this is my first paragraph. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to drop it. And it comes along with its headline and even a little thumbnail image. I will hit publish and we'll wait for a moment. And it's already published. And you go to publicize. And um, if you quoted a lot of people from Twitter, it will ask if you want to notify them. You can decide whether you want to or not. You can embed it in a blog post or on a web page, um, or you can just go to your own page, your profile, and you'll see that story. It'll be the top leftmost one. And if you click the headline there, this is the easiest way to get a plain vanilla link to that Storify that you could share in an email or on Twitter or anywhere. Just go up to the address bar of your browser and grab that complete URL, and then you could paste it anywhere you want to. So I hope this has been useful. Storify is really easy to use. It's free. Of course, you have to sign up for an account first, but do that, and then you can play around with aggregating or curating stories about anything you like and then sharing them on any platform you want to.